All right, so a couple of weeks ago, I posted an interesting article about a uh, DIY motorized slider that will bounce back and forth automatically. So as soon as it gets down to one end, it'll reverse the polarity and flip back towards the other end. So you can kind of see that happening now. So it just automatically goes back and forth, back and forth. Now this is great for um, something that's automated. You, you put it off to the side. You don't need a camera operator uh, to man the slider uh, as, as a, you know, it's just kind of like a nice camera to cut away to. Um, if you're doing time lapse, uh, you don't have to worry about your camera going all the way down to the end and then stopping. Um, it'll continue to go back and forth, so you get a lot more time-lapse footage that way. So it's pretty neat. Uh, the problem was that either people were intimidated uh, to tackle the project, or people who have tried uh, may have had some problems getting it running, getting it working. Uh, I posted a schematic up online, and um, I don't know if it was very clear to everyone. So I decided to grab a bunch of uh, equipment and label everything down so that Hopefully, it's going to be a lot easier for you guys to accomplish. Um, so I'm going to show you kind of what that looks like right now and how you guys can get started on making one of your own without all the headache of trying to figure out anything, um, you know, all the electrical stuff. It's, it's going to be very, very straightforward. Uh, and so I spent a lot of hours putting this together so it, it would be as simple as possible for anybody else to follow. So let's take a closer look at... Uh, and what that looks like. Alright, so this is a closer look at a motorized slider that Servo City has put together. Uh, very cool little slider that works off the IGIS rails and uh, you can see the IGIS bearings over here, the dry dry line bearings. Um, and this is just a prototype that they're working on and you know hopefully they're gonna finish that up. But uh, in any case, this is a motorized slider um, and it has two switches at each end here. These are the uh, little micro switches. Um, and then there's one on the other end here. I don't know if you can see that little tab. All right. Now you notice I have some alligator clips here and I have it numbered. I also have some numbers over here, NCC, which is uh, normally closed or closed. Um, and that all has to do with the switches here. And I'm going to send you guys a link to these uh, types of switches that you can buy. And uh, I'm going to walk you through the steps of getting it set up so that it just works perfectly. Uh, it was a little tricky to do um, on my first one, very confusing, and so this is going to make it a lot easier uh, for you guys to follow, um, and I'll, I'll explain why. Uh, let me get the parts out and uh, show it to you. Okay guys, so uh, this is the DPDT relay. This is what you're going to need to uh, automate your slider to go back and forth. Now there's no programming involved, it's just wiring, uh, but to make this easier, um, I got this DPDT relay and it comes with this socket block. Now I highly suggest you guys get this because you're going to need this to follow this tutorial. It's going to make life much easier. Now this relay just simply plugs in over here, fits into the socket block nice and neat. But the great thing is that uh, this is all numbered here. So you probably can't see it with this lighting, but um, these are all numbered terminals. So once you get this little kit here, I'll have a link on my website. Once you get this little kit here, uh, you just follow my instructions, my diagram, wire everything up where they need to be, and your slider should go back and forth, uh, you know, automatically. Now, uh, I didn't wire in a, a speed controller. Uh, this is the most basic circuit right now. Um, so we'll take a look at that, and I'll explain that a little bit more. Uh, but basically, uh, what this does is it'll turn your motor on and it'll auto switch your polarity at one speed. So, uh, but that's the most basic setup. So let's go take a look at that. All right, so you do see a speed controller on the side here, but this is actually not hooked up. All right, so I'm not using a speed controller. I'm basically just powering up the motor, uh, you know, uh, directly. And the speed right now is based on the type of motor you get. Now there's different motors that have different RPM speeds. So if you get a slow motor, you'll track very slow. If you get a fast motor, it'll track a lot faster. Uh, and that's all varied on here. Now the reason I didn't install the speed controller right now is I wanted a very, very basic, basic circuit for you guys to follow. 
and uh, you know later on I'll show you something different with the speed controller but right now this is the most basic circuit there's no programming involved it's just wiring and and a couple of ways uh, you loop back into the circuit itself and that's gonna flip-flop and reverse polarity uh, when it hits these switches so um, we'll take a look at that this is the, the the DC relay that I was showing you guys earlier and this is a socket block I have everything kind of numbered out here for you guys to follow um, now I'll, I'll have all the instructions online basically here you can see 6 is positive 5 is negative and that goes right to the battery I have one of these little terminals here and this is really great because you can see uh, it has symbols already negative and positive very very easy to follow and that has to do with either the sleeve or uh, the tip on the inside or the sleeve on the outside so make sure you have something like this so you know which is negative and which is positive uh, and right here you can see I'm using number five on the terminal block and number six to uh, power up the the relay and that goes right into the battery here now uh, over here seven and two go right to the motor now this is very important um, you could flip-flop this and your motor will go a different direction which will affect how the circuit works so if you guys are having trouble getting yours to work properly sometimes you just have to switch things around uh, because I've wired it very specifically to go one direction and then go the opposite direction which is affected by these switches right here so uh, this is this is what it set up so seven and two will go directly to the motor now over here on this end when you have your switches uh, this um, this switch right here is a micro switch that has normally closed normally open and closed now I have seven six and one going there and over here I have seven is closed six is normally open and one is normally closed and that's again numbered from the socket block right here so uh, on the socket block you'll see seven six and one now we get down to the other end over here we have five and eight and there's nothing on the middle one so there's nothing on normally open you have five and eight so five is normally closed and eight is closed now if your if your slider is going one direction gets to the end and just stops you probably have your switches uh, in the wrong place so you would move this switch to the other side and the other switch to this side because when it gets to the opposite end it has to reverse polarity and if it's not set up that way uh, your switches are, are backwards basically anyways um, just follow the circuits uh, on the socket block uh, right to the switches and, and trust me it's gonna work for you guys it's gonna be real easy um, so in any case the tricky 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 part is looping back in the circuit itself now you have to loop seven to number four and you also loop number two to number three so if I can get a closer look at what, what if you guys could see that you see I have I have number two going to number three but remember I also have number two so I have two wires coming out of number two I have two running over to the motor and over here you have seven and four right so you got number seven here so there's two wires coming out of number seven one goes to the motor and the other one loops back and connects directly to number four so that's the tricky part seven to four two to three you've got seven and two to the motor you've got five and six going to the battery right so you've got five is negative six is positive over here you have seven six and one going to the switch and you've got seven to close six to normally open and one to normally close over here you have five and eight five is normally closed and eight is closed so that's it that's your wiring diagram right there you don't really have to understand how it works but uh, I guarantee if you set it up this way exactly how I have it uh, you'll have a motorized slider that uh, just tracks back and forth real easy so I'm gonna try and draw something up online 
share it on my website. Uh, you can read that on the article and I'll have a little bit more information there. And if you have any comments, uh, just go to the website and uh, comment there and I'll respond to that. And I will have links to all of the important equipment. So basically you're going to need this relay with this socket block. This is a kit comes together. It's about four bucks, I think. Very inexpensive. You'll need a battery, of course. These batteries are uh, the CCTV batteries, very cheap. You can use any battery. Um, and this little terminal here, this is like pennies. So I'll, uh, I'll link to that. And you'll need uh, two of these switches right here. Uh, these are three pin, uh, you know, momentary toggle switches. Uh, I'll have a link to that. And that's it. So two switches, a battery, a little terminal thing, and a relay and a socket block. You guys will be good to go. So uh, check out more information about this stuff at CheesyCam.com. Hopefully you guys aren't being discouraged. Uh, I'm trying to make this as easy as possible for you guys to follow. And uh, this should make it a lot easier. And I'll, again, I'll put this down in some text information so you don't have to watch this video over and over. Um, so find that at CheesyCam.com.